the Houthi militia does lose Hodeida and its port, it would severely weaken its ability to resupply its forces in the capital, Sana'a, through the Red Sea. So this potentially could be a game changer if the Saudi and UAE-backed forces do succeed in not only capturing the Hodeida airport, but also capturing the port, which is the main port where supplies through the Red Sea uh, reach into Yemen and into the areas that the Houthi militias control. Now, the Houthi militias are responding to this latest battle by shelling the airport using tank fire, artil artillery, and mortars. But it seems that the UAE and Saudi-backed forces have stormed the airport and very much are intent to capture the airport and the seaport as well. The, this, this coalition has said that their ultimate objective is to force the Houthis to the negotiating table while the Houthis are still trying to hold on by, fi by fighting back. The United Nations, of course, is saying that this could lead to the further displacement of tens of thousands of people and potentially endanger millions more if the port of Hodeida is severely damaged. This would, of course, uh, disable the ability of, 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 uh, of, uh, of food, of food and medicine to enter the country while both sides are still very firmly dug in as this very crucial battle for Hodeida rages, rages on.